And now let's meet the starting lineup for the Clippers. At point guard, Reggie Jackson. At center, Ivica Zubas. At power forward, Marcus Morris Sr. Tonight, it's the Golden State Warriors going up against the Los Angeles Clippers. This is Kevin Harlan. I'm joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. DA, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. Kawhi Leonard was recognized as one of the NBA's 75 greatest. Coach Ty Lu says to go from being a 15th pick to that means a lot. It's a tribute to his hard work and dedication. And Leonard credits that work ethic to his dad. He says, I try to play as hard as I can each night. That's what my father wanted me to do. Kevin? What a worker Kawhi is. Terrific player. And a great story, David. Thanks. And the Clippers starting five. The wing pairing, George and Leonard. Post tandem for him, Morris and Zubats. And it's Jackson in at the point. And for Golden State... The core of this team all out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Wiggins is out there with Looney. And at this point of the season, Greg, many coaches still are maneuvering their lineup, trying to find the right formula. Yeah, especially the younger team. There's no real established pecking order, and guys can be wildly inconsistent from night to night. So Golden State will get the first possession. Curry against Jackson. Shoots. And the basket by Curry. Curry's got the first points up on the board for the Warriors. Defensively, you have to be aware of Curry in that set. Jackson kicks to Morris. Shoots a fader. Shot is good off the back rim and in. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. Wiggins dishes to Thompson. To the paint. Right side curve. Just five on the clock. Thompson a screen on Leonard. And it's Wiggins missing. About a minute played so far here in the first. against Jackson. Pass to Morris. Leonard with the ball. Good D by Thompson. Just enough resistance to force them as barely. That's one he'll generally make. I admire Thompson's toughness. Gets it from his dad and from his mom. Yeah, his mom played volleyball in college. His dad was the first overall pick in 1978. Played in the league for 13 seasons. You know what that's called? Good genetics. Now oh, here's Leonard. His last outing, he had eight points. And Jackson gets it to go. And good to see Jackson finish closer in. Not a guard who just chucks up threes. 
can find the creases with that handle. On the wing, Thompson, defended by George. Curry passes to Looney. Back to Curry. Green with a screen on Jackson. Curry with the bounce pass. And Green slams it in. Just great awareness for Curry. So good at reading the floor and finding his open teammates. Here's George. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. They get Stephen Curry. Well, in spite of the critics and the injuries, Paul George continues to produce one of the league's truly elite players. And you mentioned the injuries for Paul George. Uh, let's see, G8, the broken leg, shoulder surgeries, last season a torn elbow ligament. Yeah, and I'm sure there are a few others, Kevin. <laughs> but give him credit. To battle through and maintain his greatness tells you something about his competitive will. The throw good, Paul George. For the Clippers organization, G.A., what do you think the goal is? Well, it, it's clear to me, Kevin, get to the NBA Finals. The, the Clippers have never made it there. And I think a trip to the Finals is within reach of this group. They just need to stay healthy. He hits both from the strike. GA with their fourth title, the combination of Steph, Clay, and Draymond Green, the single most successful trio in the last half century in the NBA. And, and some would argue the best trio of all time. Like the most wins in the finals ever by a trio who've each made an all NBA team. Now here's Jackson after the miss from Stephen Curry. Jackson, Zubat trying to break loose. His second shot goes in, off to a good start, two for two. And with the defender draped all over him, Jackson has that strength to fight through the contact. Higgins outside. Passes to Curry. That balls. Ice feed that time from Wiggins. Curry's got five. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Now Kirk. After the miss three from Reggie Jackson, the pass to Looney. Back to Curry. Let's it go from deep. He is hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Morris with a screen on Kirk. Jackson kicks to Morris. And Draymond Green picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And the Warriors with some changes. James Wiseman, he's checked in for Looney. Jonathan Kaminga comes in for Wiggins. And Poole subbed in for Thompson. And then for the Clippers, Nicholas Batum. He's checked in for Zubox. Norman Powell comes in for Marcus Morris. And John Wall subbed in for Reggie Jackson. They get it back. Here's George Batum trying to break loose. And it's George missing. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. They trail by one. Poole against Powell. Wiseman sets a screen for Poole. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. It's on Nicholas Batum. And you got to respect how quickly Wiseman has adapted to big league play. He hit the ground running and has not looked back. Always growing as a player. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And since 1999, the Clippers and Lakers have shared their downtown L.A. arena. The only NBA teams to split a venue, but that's going to change soon. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Jermichael Green comes in for Green. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Stephen Curry. Now here's Wall. Last time out, he had 13 points. Covington, a screen on DiVincenzo. And again, it's the Clippers missing. The Clippers broke ground on their new arena, set to open in Inglewood in 2024. I, I've seen the footprint. You fly right into LAX, and you see it every time. It's going to be beautiful. And that'll be huge for the Clips. So they're trying to create their own identity in Southern California. Having a venue just for the Clippers will help. And it's the Clippers with the ball. The Warriors making the shot. But two dishes the wall. Covington setting the pick for Wall. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. 
Warriors leading by three. There's 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Scooped up. Pass to Green. Golden State moving the ball around. And here's Poole for three. Warriors the rebound. The second effort. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Oh, nice job by Wiseman to get some contact while in the act. The Warriors shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. You've got to appreciate their ability to make free throws. 81% as a team. He misses the free throw. Good on the second free throw. We've got 28 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Wall. Trains it from nine feet away. And something Wall has really worked on. He realizes that his team depends on him to drain that jump shot. And the Warriors miss again. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Warriors ahead, up two. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from San Francisco. in this Thanksgiving presentation of the NBA. And taking a look at the Warriors' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. They are playing for one another and focusing on making winning plays. You love to see it. Here's Jackson. Boy, he was something else against Utah. The core of this team all out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. James Wiseman's out there with Wiggins. That's the group for the Golden State Warriors to start the second quarter. Now here's Leonard. Shoots from 12. Green with the rebound. And as good as Draymond Green has been on the floor, this guy will be an all-time broadcaster, already a popular podcast. Great TV studio appearances as well. Jackson against Curry. And Thompson throws it down. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks, Kevin. Of course, the Warriors' offense stands out for its emphasis on ball movement. Coach Steve Kerr says if you get to touch the ball and be a part of the action, whether it's as an assist man, ball mover, shooter, dribbler, the more people who are involved in the offense, the more powerful it becomes. Kevin, strength in numbers indeed. As has always been the case for his offense, the more the better. And it's worked for him. GA thanks. He gets it in there. And after that bragging first quarter, they're hitting some momentum, some confidence. Nice play. Just a textbook lead pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. And so Curry will bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. They lead by four. And Draymond Green, the next broadcasting star. You've watched his work. Why is that? And Kevin, I think his basketball IQ is incredible. And we see that when he plays. But he can also vocalize it to the audience. And, of course, Draymond is not afraid to say what he thinks. Here's Leonard following the basket by Andrew Wiggins. Leonard. Draymond Green with the rebound. Green's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And Curry has it in the corner. And the three off target. Clippers trail by six. On the wing, George. He's covered by Thompson. And Paul George Paul with the three. George. George has got seven points in the game. Man, I love the floor spacing George gives you. His range seems to extend a little every year. Curry shot is off. And he continues to cast away. But the results just haven't been there tonight. Here's Leonard. Doesn't get it to drop for him. 
the Warriors go the other way. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. And finding his teammate in stride, he led his guy perfectly. Here's Jackson after the made shot from Clay Thompson. Jackson finds George. Tries again. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down now to just three on the basket from Zubats. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. To the middle. And Wiggins with the basket on the assist by Weissman. Richard, safe to say you were a pretty good defender in your day, so tell me, who was the most difficult player you had to defend? I've had to guard some of the best scorers in NBA history, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, but there is nobody like Kevin Durant. His height, his skill set, KD is probably the most unguardable player we've ever seen. All Hall of Fame. Wow. An assist like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. And the bench turned up in that one. Whatever they couldn't get from their starters, they got from the reserve. For a number of reasons, depth seems to become more important every year. Different look here for the Warriors. Kevon Looney is checked in for Wiseman. Kaminga comes in for Green. Moody's checked in for Wiggins. And Poole subbed in for Clay Thompson. Batum finds Wall. Now Covington. It's Powell on the wing. Parted by Poole. Takes it out to Covington. And again, no good by the Clippers. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's a plus five in that category. For so long, the Golden State Warriors were waiting to be back at full strength. But when one guy comes back, it seems like another goes down. The injury bug has been a real challenge for them. Now here's Paul. Last game with 30 points. Outside, Batum. That's no good. Couldn't get his first shot to go. Warriors leading by 10. Curry passes to Looney. Powell against Poole. And Kaminga throws it down. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Powell against Poole. Powell the pass to Wall. Six to shoot. Halt the run. The shot comes out, and Golden State will go the other way with it. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Clippers team. And looking back to last season, they won this season series, as you'd expect. In their eyes, that's just taking care of business. They believe they're supposed to beat this team, but they'll have to see how the season series shakes out. Here's Pop, following the basket by Stephen Curry. Walls, shot is off. You can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. In a major drought, you need to find some sort of momentum. Hits it from three-point range. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, not just an impressive show of offense, but the defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Hey folks, happy you joined us. The action tonight, a bit wild and a big deficit now for the Los Angeles Clippers. And one of the main reasons they're down right now is because of their rebounding problems. They're getting outworked, outclassed, not bringing the intensity, not willing to get their hands dirty. They're playing like wimps. 
And now, let's take a second here to look at what's ahead on the schedule. And that game against the Nuggets, this one is a coin flip, a 50-50 game on paper. Pretty even talent-wise, it's going to come down to execution. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. And if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. And let's see if the D adjusts make life a little more difficult on him. Checking out the group for Teron Liu to start the second half. The wing pairing, George and Leonard. Post tandem for him, Morris and Zubox. And it's Jackson in at the point guard position. It's good. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. Ron imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. Looney, and the layup fall. Looney's got his first basket. They are just killing him on the interior. Kevon Looney may be a veteran player, but he continues to overachieve. Just last year, he set a new career high for rebounds in a single game. As a player, it's your job to keep improving yourself, and Looney has never lost sight of that. Well, Jonathan Kaminga and Moses Moody, the first lottery pick teammates ever to play in the NBA Finals, RJ, in their rookie seasons. Yeah, the dub strength in numbers, it got bolstered by some of these up-and-comers. You had Jordan Poole, who was most improved candidate last year, and then eventually we'd love to see a lot from James Wiseman. And they're brought in, these younger players, Richard, are brought in in that great culture. Oh, there is nothing like culture. We have talked about that culture can directly impact a player's trajectory for his entire career. Mm. Jackson hits both of them. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. Higgins outside. Curry outside. He hits hauled in by Los Angeles. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Pass to Jackson. Shoots a three. Green with the rebound. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Looking ahead, they've got the Jazz coming into town for the next game. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Here's Curry with the three. Drains it from beyond the arc. Curry's got 16 points. On a night like tonight, Steph Curry is must-watch basketball. He can score from anywhere. Morris with a screen on Thompson. George with the bucket. Oh, Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Warriors leading by 16. Thompson outside. A three ball. That one no good. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. But let's see if he can eventually get back on track. And George gets to Jackson. Kept alive. George with the bucket, 11 points in the game. And I like the anticipation of George on the glass there. A, a veteran sense of where the miss is going. This is it to Wiggins. Thompson outside. Green deciding where to go with it. It's three outside. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got three assists in the game. Morris with the screen for George. That doesn't go either for George. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Green against Morris. Out to Thompson. It's up a three. Another three for Golden State. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. Jackson passes to Zubats. Outside, George. And it's George again missing. 
They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Curry with a wide open look. How oh, good with the triple. Clippers trail by 20. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Warriors have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Green dishes to Thompson. Cranes the three-pointer. Thompson's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Warriors. 12 straight points off of three-pointers, and the D shifts. And the Clippers call time here. Five on the floor. There's a minute 40 left in the third quarter of the game. They need this. Warriors with the rebound. Poole on the wing. Started by Powell. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that. Play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Covington, a screen on DiVincenzo. Up top, Powell. Guarded by Poole. Powell kicks to Covington. Just five to shoot. Here's Wall. And again, no good by the Clippers. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Los Angeles has gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Now the pass to Powell. Knocks down the three ball. And in getting that three to go, he snaps an 11-0 run by the Warriors. Pass to Poole. Back to DiVincenzo. Launches it. And there's the call on Dante DiVincenzo. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Clipper solid. Terrence Mann. And so it's Covington who brings up the ball for the Clippers. Now Powell. The scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points a game. Covington, a screen on Poole. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. The Warriors on top. They finish off the third quarter with a big 11-3 run. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors. And how about a look now at our assist of the game. Brought to you by State Farm. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Not just playing selflessly, but also making a smart decision with the ball. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. The guard spots filled by Poole and Thompson. Green and Weissman make up the inside pin. And it's Kaminga in at the three spot. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting a low 30% mark from the field. George against Thompson. And it's George missing. Warriors leading by 22. Kaminga the pass to Weissman. Golden State moving it around. Back to Poole. Here's Green. Here he goes. Great D that time from Leonard. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. He dishes it to Wall. In the corner, George with it. No good from outside. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Pass to Kaminga. Ball against Poole. 
He can't hit that time. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. Here's George, and it's George finishing it off. Yeah, I love the court awareness from Kawhi there. Dependable at getting it to his uncovered teammates. Richard, I know you've been to Africa. Your mom did a lot of great work there. How gratifying is it to see the investment that the NBA now is making over the court? Well, I look at how basketball changed my life and allowed me to accomplish so many great things. And then the more people that have the opportunity to allow basketball to change their lives, you got basketball without borders, you have academies in basketball, you now have the Basketball Africa League. It's great to see these opportunities extended to more people across the globe. That's why basketball is a global game. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Now a timeout called timeout by Warriors. Golden State. I mean, driving the lane, going to the rim with purpose, and getting those points the hard way. And this is exactly what a star player is supposed to do. Coming off a loss, he made sure they weren't going to make it two in a row. Wiggins off the inbound. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got nine rebounds now tonight. And George kicks to Morris. Zubats against Wiggins. Four on the shot clock. Jackson, that's a two-pointer. Nice spin off the left rim and in. And the biggest reason Jackson's carved out a long NBA career, Reggie puts the ball in the hoop. Curry passes to Thompson. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Clippers trail by 18. Passes it to George. Over Thompson. George, no good. The Warriors have gone 0-6 in the fourth quarter. Disastrous start to the period. Feeds it to Green. Over Jackson. It's rebounded by Leonard. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. Jackson with the bounce pass. From 12 feet out. And it's Leonard missing. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Looking to get on the board here in the fourth still. There's the pass to Wiggins. Back to Thompson to end the cold streak. Rebound by the Clippers. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Offensive rebound. Morris, no good. Warriors leading by 18. Pass to Looney. Two minutes remaining in the game. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Late in the game, up big, they continue oh, to attack. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. Left side, Leonard. Looking to get it going. That shot misses. 
And Golden State will come the other way. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Green with a screen for Curry. His three-pointers off the mark. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Warriors. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And they took charge when it counted, and they'll be notching their ninth win overall. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Stephen Curry. He did a great job following his team's game plan and not rushing anything on offense, which allowed him to catch fire. Kicks it out to Covington. Takes a three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green with a screen on wall. DiVincenzo passes to Green. Count it. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. That was a second look at our Mobile One Drive. Amazing control on display. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Shot and game clock separated by five. Pass to Covington. And here's Kennard. Shot clock at six. Fires the three. Los Angeles with another miss. Here's DiVincenzo. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. They poured it on a dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home, no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Draymond, one of the cliches of basketball is that the ball finds energy. When teammates are making shots, does that give you more energy? Oh, uh, yeah, it does. You know, when we're in the flow, the ball is just moving around. It allows me to play make, and you know, then I just try to find an open gap and take the shots where they are. Man, it was really flowing tonight, man. Congrats on the win.